yeah, I'm not worried about a crash. Inflation will continue. If it happens, great. Yeah, and the cool thing about real estate is it is pretty well inflation proof, right? Like, uh, you know, rent raises increase, even even in times that aren't like heavily inflationary, you know, taxes increase still, insurance premiums increase still. So rents are always going up. It's kind of hardwired into our currency is that over time, its value will decrease because the printing of it continues. Whereas hard assets, businesses, real estate, so long, anything that meets the needs, provides value to society is pretty well inflation proof because you're able to adjust your prices along with the rate that inflation is increasing. I don't mean to sound harsh. Like I understand that some people have fixed incomes. I understand that there are, you know, a lot of people that are that like uh, our society depends on the first responders, the military, the teachers, and they operate in an, in, in an industry where, you know, the amount of value that they bring to society far surpasses what they're paid. One of the things in like, as I'm learning how money works, you know, like a really cold, hard truth comes to like the top of my mind. And that's that like, whether you want to be playing this game or not, you are in this game right? Like if you are on a fixed income and you satisfy yourself with that, if you make no attempts to bring in additional income, then your purchasing power is going to lessen and lessen and lessen. So if you, if your goal in retirement is to get a, a fixed dollar amount that is going to sustain you over the next 30, 40 years, however long you kind of plan to live, which I fundamentally disagree with that style of planning of financial planning, then the deeper, the, the longer you spend executing that, the, the, the lower your purchasing power is going to be, uh, you know, right now in this kind of highly inflationary period that we're in, uh, people are getting wrecked when we got like 15, 17% inflation. Like that's brutal on a fixed income. Your purchasing power uh, just decreased by 15 to 20%. It's going to get difficult. Ever since our modern currency was kind of kind of created, it's been inflationary. So year over year, you know, if you make no changes, if you don't want to adapt, if you don't want to kind of play this game, then over time, you're going to be hurt the most. The people that are buying real estate, that are building businesses, that are uh, kind of contributing and trying to figure out ways to provide value to society, they're the ones that are kind of uh, protecting themselves from inflation. I've been watching, again, I've been watching a lot of Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett clips lately. And Warren Buffett was recently talking about gold and silver as being hedges against inflation because it has an element of scarcity to it. And in the event of a downturn, you know, sometimes those prices go up. Warren Buffett was saying that, you know, in his mind, the best hedge against inflation is focusing on increasing your personal income because of the skill set, because of the uh, knowledge that you're going to gain during that, you're going to be able to, to uh, more effectively provide value to society, which is ultimately what is financially rewarded. Right. And I get it. It's a very weird, I don't know, dichotomy, right? Mike, you know, in talking about all of this, one of the, one of the conversations that happened between my mom and I, that I'm really thankful for is uh, she kind of didn't appreciate the way that I was wording some things and she was completely right. And that, you know, it's a fine line. Like I'm not, when I'm talking about providing value to society and all of that in, in terms of like the economy, the net worth and all of that, like it has no bearing on what type of people you are. You can have an extraordinarily high net worth, like as a mother, as a person, uh, like from a Christian perspective, you can be a fantastic person and very, very poor or very broke. Uh, and you can be a horrible person and, you know, very rich. So the quality of individual you are has nothing to do with your like economic status. And I want to be very clear each time I'm talking about providing value to society. And I want to be very clear that this uh, current system really wrecks some really good people that choose not to play this game or that don't know how to play this game. But it's one of those things that whether you want to or not, you're in it. And uh, if you're not planning for it, 
then when inflation hits like it is this year, last year, and presumably next year, it really puts the most amount of pressure on the people that are not actively playing the game. One of the analogies that I like to say a lot is whenever I started learning about money, I realized like the more I learned about money, the more I realized that, uh, you know, it's kind of like our society, like capitalism is kind of like a, the, the, the game of Monopoly. And most people are like trying to play Yahtzee on top of a Monopoly board. It's not going to work. It's never going to work. And uh, you just got the wrong framework. You've got the wrong ideas. You've got the wrong outlook. And uh, if you were to play the right game, you would probably succeed pretty quickly. I think Dave Ramsey recently said, you know, or whatever, he, he did like a really large study on, on like self-made millionaires or millionaires in general. And most of them that set out to become wealthy do so or hit that seven figure mark inside of seven years. So once you set out to play that game, you can probably do pretty well inside of seven years. What a long tangent that was, but I hope it makes sense. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.